Hello and welcome to a new video about Sitecore Experience Accelerator. In this video we are going to look at the page content component. Um, with this component you can create fixed layouts and that will help speed up the creation process for your content authors or marketers. So what I usually suggest is that for landing pages you want to give your um, content authors and marketers uh, some freedom so they can arrange components the way they like that they feel it's needed to attract and engage with customers um, but for other pages the more detailed pages like for example a blog page or a news article it's better to create fixed layouts so that your visitors are always sure where to find which information um, and you can do that by using the page content component because it can read all the different fields values of your pages and display them in a certain layout um, and that's exactly what we're going to create in this video so to get started we are going to create a data template first so let's open the content editor and then go to templates we're going to scroll down to project to tenant A because that's a tenant that I have created here um, with my site here and underneath the tenant A I'm going to uh, right click on the custom templates because that's something that I have already created in another video right click choose insert new template so the dialog box for the new template appears and we're giving this the name of blog and we are choosing the default uh, page template that we have already from our tenant A as the base template because we're going to use the fields that are, are in there and extend it with a few others just for the sake of this demo so when our uh, template is created let's refresh this we are going to add a, a section with the name content that's the default of the page um, so that the fields are displayed underneath the same section and we're going to add a summary field and a publish date field so let's give this a multi-line where is it? multi-line text and this is a simple date field so hit save um, this is step one I'm going to do some other thing and it is making sure that my new block template can be chosen from the right mouse click insert options on for example the home so I go, I'm going to home click on the standard values and underneath configure I can go to insert options choose assign and then go into my project folder tenant A custom templates block ok now I leave the icon for the block as it is I'll hit save um, but you can obviously choose something else that you uh, want to use for your blog. So when I go to tenant, uh, tenant A, site A and then home, right click the mouse, insert and here is my blog. So let's create a new blog article. Blog article 1. And if I have done everything correct, underneath the content we have a title content and then the summary and publish date. So let's add some short uh, text here this is the content field that's okay for now and in the summary I'm going to choose for this is the summary field and the publish date is today hit save now what we're going to do next is create a new template um, and we're going to do that by creating a partial design first so go to your sites presentation partial design um, to create a partial design and then add it to a page design um, I'm not explaining those steps because this is uh, explained in another video um, so we're doing this very quickly I'm going to uh, duplicate the empty one let's give this the name of blog because I have on the empty one already prepared a header and footer component um, I'm going to change the display name to block here hit save 
and I'm going to open this one in the experience editor and now we are going to use the page component, page content component to create a fixed layout so the first thing that I want to do is add a title now that's not done with the page content component but with the title component so let's start with this one and now I'm going to add the page content component let's add it here so there it is now by default uh, there are some default rendering variants but the uh, default one is content um, the page content component will look for the content field so I go back to the content editor uh, and I'm going to my blog article so one of the default rendering variants is looking for the content field so back to the experience editor that is what's selected by default here so I'm going to click save to save this template, this partial design so what we need to do now is create two more rendering variants um, and bind them to the summary field and the publish date field so back to the content editor I am going to my site A presentation and then rendering variants and then the page content and I'm going to right click choose insert rendering variant definition and I'm giving this the name of summary so this is my summary rendering variant and now I'm going to add one field which is the summary field so there are a lot of other videos explaining a lot of details about rendering variants so we'll leave that as it is but this field name is important this should be the name of the field as you created it in the data template so we're doing exactly the same thing for the publish date publish date that's my second rendering variant and I'm going to add a field called publish date without spaces and now that we have those two in place I can go back to my page in the experience editor I have to refresh this page because it needs to get the new rendering variants in the component and if the page is loaded we should be able to select uh, the content component that we already added to the page and when I open the variant list you will now see that you will have a summary and publish date so I can select summary and now I can add another page content component below the summary field um, that is set to the content field so that is ok let's do it one more time this way so I'm adding the content component one more time it's under page content, page content well it messes up my uh, template a little bit but that's ok let's choose summary here and let's choose the publish date here so I am hit save again now I'm not sure if I have a fourth one on the page design, partial design but that's ok uh, so we have created a partial design with the title, a publish date, summary field and a content field and nothing else. Now I go back to the content editor and I'm going to create a new page choose right, right mouse click insert a new page let's give this the name of blog as well and I'm going to add the partial blog and the partial metadata choose save and now I can go back to home to my site and go to blog article now are there different ways to assign page designs to a page but I'm going to open this in the experience editor and do it from there so my page is loading and now you can see that it's empty and that is because it has no template yet or the default one so I can pick a page design and do it manually for each page but I am going to configure it based on the data template so go to site page design so the home is ok, the page is ok but we're going to assign the block page design to the block data template so on the left are the data templates and on the right are the page designs so block gets block and now that we're going to save this 
it will automatically assign the page design that we created to our page and here it is now for some reason it has some components somewhere um, and we get a weird space here but as you can see it shows the block article 1 uh, title and in here it shows the date, the summary field and the content field. And when we are going to add another block page, block 2, and we can now fill in the information here, content field, uh, summary, let's keep it short and give it a date of tomorrow, hit save. Um, when I'm going to open this in the experience editor to check you can see that it's automatically filling in all the fields so I can use the partial design to create a fixed layout with right left columns whatever you want um, and it's automatically filling in all the information and with front-end developers you can style it just the way you want and there is nothing more needed to create fixed layouts so that's it I hope you understand what you can do with the page component um, and if you have any questions, let me know.